terms of finding my style, it's like, I, I feel like as an artist, the, the reason why artists, you know, one of the reasons why they have such a hard time, you know, finding a style is one, it's a scary thing, like, you know, attaching yourself to one particular body of work. I think the, the second thing to that is, um, is, is it's hard to find your voice as an artist, artist if you don't know who you are as a person and that's like a big thing and it's like people don't really know who they are they never do the things that you need to do in order to you know to find yourself and that's really follow your heart really follow you know your dreams and take a shot on yourself and uh, take a chance on yourself and and uh you know i don't know it, it's just weird i just feel like there's a lot of people who don't really know who they are and that affects their voice as an artist whether you're a musician whether you're a visual artist um and I don't know, I just had a really good sense of who I was. So I knew that I was always in love with vintage. I knew that I was always in love with paper. That, that was my aesthetic. And it started when I was, I guess, um, the first time I ever saw Picasso and his synthetic cubism. Um, that was a movement that, you know, uh, uh, that was um, just something that I was really drawn to. It was the first time collage had ever been used as a, a form of fine art. And that's me, that's what I want to do. And that's what started my fascination with paper. I started doing just abstract collages and uh, it kind of just, you know, it's really just kind of grown from there and that's how I defined my, my kind of my signature style. But it, it all started with knowing my love uh, for collage and, and paper and I remember, you know, vividly in school, uh, people were telling me all the time, why don't, you, why don't you paint more? Why don't you do more of, basically they were telling me, why don't you do more of what's already out there? Why don't you, you know, why don't you do, you're such a, a good, uh, I guess it was kind of like a backhanded compliment. They're like, you're such a good painter, why are you using paper? And it was like, it was almost like they were downplaying, you know, my paper wasn't a legitimate form of art. And it's still, I get that, I get that um, criticism and I get that kind of uh, pushback today when I'm, when I'm trying to go to galleries. It's like, oh, we like that, but can you paint more? And it's like, um, and I just don't, I don't know what it is, but I always stay true to myself. I always, I never conform to, you know, I took that feedback and I learned from it and I definitely applied you know, some of the things they were trying to tell me and, and the psychology of why they were saying that into my art, but I, I never deviated from using paper and, and vintage and uh, you know, vintage elements into, into my art. And um, I guess that's kind of what reason why I've been able to be successful is, and, and have this signature style is because I never let anyone, you know, let anyone's opinions really deviate from what I loved and what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, that's that's where, you know, that's kind of the story of how my style has gone from just bumbling around with, you know, cutting up paper and doing collage uh, into this cut paper kind of style, mixing it with acrylic paint.